Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Bethel Evangelical Free Church Hanley. I'm Pastor Trevace Charmy and this is another church in the Shropshire Hills series. This is the Church of St. James Greet. It's a 12th century church. There's a number of these interesting 12th century churches here in the Shropshire Hills. And like so many, it serves a tiny, tiny little village. Again, like so many, it was restored in the 19th century. And that restoration was relatively minor. The chancel arch, you can see behind me, is part of it. So we'll have a look around and see what the features of this building are. As usual, we start at the West End. You can see here the wall plaster has been retained. And one rather obvious feature is that the chancel arch is leaning outwards. I suspect that this is the result of somebody removing an earlier smaller chancel arch and not asking the question, will the wall hold together properly once the arch has been removed? The answer was no, and it's now been shored up to make sure it's safe, but it must have been a bit of an embarrassment at the time. Um, nice old memorial here, this is uh, 18th century. A lot of these will be made by a, a local village uh, sculptor, village stonemason, you just say, arrange it for to do something very simple. But and here we have one of the uh, candlesticks. These are iron. They're attached to the ends of the pews. The font here is not in the normal position. It's here, and it's got a crack in it, which is rather unfortunate. I'm not quite sure the date. Is it? I think it might be 14th, 15th century. But it's an unusual. Well, it's not an unusual shape. It's a Really common shape. The top is uh, 17th century. We have the war memorial here. Uh, men who served in the Great War. Only two died in the war. And mind delay, my mobile phone company decided to send me a text. Um, so we've only got the two who died in the Great War and then one in the um, Second World War. Richard Mason of Greet, a nice. Victorian brass here, big, nice big windows obviously inserted here. The pulpit is 17th century, relatively plain, very nice. Um, Richard Rawlings of Greek Court, so they're called Big House, and Court, you can go all the way from enormous mansion down to what we have here, which is a glorified farmhouse. Father's life, 1915, age 80. And then Eustace William Cochrane, who after this parish, 1913 to 1928, died 18th of May, 1928, aged 75 years. It's even then they didn't really have a retirement plan, and so if you were a, an incumbent, if you're a clergyman, you might be shifted to a title role parish like this, where you didn't have an awful, an awful lot to do, and they hoped that you'd be able to carry out your work, what little there was of it. Not the best idea in the world, and that's why retirement plans now exist. A bit of 17th century woodwork here around the pulpit, and a uh, big old Bible there looking west. Uh, east window, well, west window rather, is relatively small, and it should be one of the earlier windows, maybe even late 12th century. Gordon Hopkins. Uh, um, Priest of Tranmere and Pallium, Queen's Chaplain, Canon of Durham, died 88. Great from Greek, whose annual camp for over 50 years. So he would have had it probably with the, the lads of the church. East window, uh, we've got the Lord Jesus Christ central with two evangelists. Here we have the dropped sill sedilia. You can see what's called dropped sill because it is literally a dropped sill. They, there's the piscina, the piscina here sticks out. It's rather like the one at uh, Hope Baggett, except this one hasn't been too badly hacked around. It has still been slightly hacked around. And the table is modern with just modern furniture on it. So looking backwards, a big long church. We've got here the communion rails of 17th, maybe 18th century, but the, the central portion is not there and clearly hasn't been there for a while. So there we are, a long 
building, relatively tall in 12th century, but uh, simple. Actually, I attempted here. It's a simple, simple building. Here we've got a list of incumbents. Always interesting these. What happened in 1662? Uh, well, not a lot, because 1665 they got a new chap who's talking There's a big gap, 1609, 1665. It's possible that it's the same man, um, but sometimes there's somebody missing, and quite often it'll be a Puritan. Um, as the west doorway, which is Norman, and then by the side of it, the, the, the box. Actually, these things are very often today there double locked and they're still not used because idiots and uh, vile people come in and the, the thieves break through and steal as thieves of course are wont to do so that and there's the pulpit and the chancel beyond so that's the inside here at St James's Greet so here we are outside this is of course a very simple building these Shropshire Hills churches tend to be they're not very rich parishes they have to provide us a building for the congregation. We've got uh, rough rubble stonework, 19th century porch, and when we have a look around we'll see inside there's a 12th century doorway in there. And then uh, it's behind me at the moment, so let's move it here. You can see that, uh, the, here we go, the chancel is uh, rendered which the whole building would have been originally, again, because that's just rough rubble stonework. You want it to look a bit posher than that, and so you render it. You might even paint black lines over the render to make it look like posh stonework. So let's have a look around the outside, shall we? So here we are at the south side, headed towards the doorway. Doorway, fairly common in these churches it's part about halfway along the south side and you can see in the middle here inside the doorway here is this Norman inside the porch rather here's a Norman doorway with a plain tympanum it's a simple building and there's the rendered chance we'll go around this way it's uh, there's a, a farmhouse just next to the church. A churchyard appears at least to be thinking about being round, which is quite a, an indication, a good indication of an early church. It's got a round churchyard, and there's the Victorian bell cot. There would have been some sort of belfry, of course, before that one. The windows here, that's just 13th century, which would be about right again for a, it's a longer chancel than I might expect for a, a 12th century one. and that render not on the end here but a tri triple lancet obviously it has been renewed but it is a triple lancet triple lancets are good that's, that's the farm doing what farms do and plenty of render here on the north side can't do anything about that uh, noise in the background um north side we've all been rendered here there's the priest's door there's no trace on the outside at least of a um, north doorway, but that's what you, you expect with a building like this. So that's the outside here. You can just see the chimneys of Greek Court there, the big house. I'd say it's not a, a super grand house, but it's a, a rather nice big farmhouse. So that is Greek. This is so common, you've got this bit here that's just help support the belfry. And it's, it's all medieval. But you need some kind of extra support for the belfry. There's not a lot of village at Greet. It's obviously it's part of a team ministry these days. Um, so that is St James's at Greet. So there we have it, Greet small 12th century church here in the Shropshire Hills, really right right towards the border with Worcestershire and Herefordshire. Well thank you for watching and may God bless you and keep you until next time.